Good afternoon, my princess and princesses. How was school today? Hmm. I can already hear Debbie's sweet voice say, We are fine, big mommy. And Ezekiel will add, We're ready to learn, ma. Aha, that's what I love to hear. Today, I bring you a magical story about fractions, but not just any fractions, fractions that live inside your lunchbox. So what is fractions? A fraction means how many pieces you have out of the whole, like how many pieces of pizza you had out of the whole pizza. So it was Ezekiel's birthday this month and you all ate cake. Assuming Ezekiel shared all the cake with just eight of you, and you have eight pieces of cake. If you took one slice, that's called one out of eight, and we write it like this, one eighth, we say one over eight. What does the top and bottom mean? We write a fraction like this, a over B, like one eighth. So let me tell you a secret. The top number A tells us how many pieces you have. We call it the numerator. The bottom number B tells us how many pieces the whole thing, cake in this instance, we call it the denominator. And let's use food to remember. If you eat two packs of chinchin out of three packs of chinchin, it's two thirds equals two out of three, three pieces. Yum yum. The top is your bites. The bottom is how many bites the whole pie had. Can the bottom be zero? No, 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 you can't cut something into zero parts. So we say the bottom number must never be zero because you can't share cake with nobody, right? Let's look at halves. I want to share an apple for Tamitayo and good luck so you both can eat. So what do I do? Cut the apple into two equal parts. Now I say one part for Tamitayo, one part for good luck. And guess what? Each of you gets half. Half means one out of two equal parts. Let's take another example. Assume Uncle Femi is taking 10 of you for football practice. And the coach divides the group into two equal teams. How many players are on each team? Answer. There are five players in each team. Team one has five players and team two has five players. The team is divided into two halves. Let's talk about quarters. What is a quarter? A quarter means one out of four equal parts. Say it with me. A quarter is one out of four. Michael, imagine there is pizza in front of you sliced into four big equal pieces. If you, Michael, eat just one slice, what part of the pizza did you eat? Michael, say it with me. One out of four, that's one quarter. That, my dears, is a quarter. Let's talk about types of fractions. There are different types of fractions. Proper fractions, example, one half improper fractions, example, four halves mixed numbers, example, one and one half proper fractions. Let's say Treasure drinks three bottles of Fanta out of five bottles. So what do we call it? Say it loud, Temitayo. Three out of five proper fractions are when the top number called numerator is smaller than the bottom called denominator, like one quarter, two fifths, three eighths. One way to remember what a proper fraction is, is to think that they are proper because they behave well. They don't finish the whole food. I hope you all laughed. You can remember improper fractions. You can call it the story of greedy children. Ezekiel, come and gist us. Have you ever eaten more sandwiches than your brother Moses? Imagine Ezekiel ate five sandwiches and there were only four in his lunch bag. He collected an extra one from Moses and added it to the four in his lunch bag. Ha! Even the ancestors will say, this boy is greedy Oh, That's called an improper fraction, like five-fourths. Improper means the top number is bigger than the bottom. It's like saying, I want more than one whole sandwich. Let's talk about mixed numbers now. Good luck! Or if you eat two apples and then half of Anna's apple too. 
that's two and a half. In math, we say two and a half, a mixed number, because it's part whole number and part fraction. The magic trick, changing fractions from improper to mixed, now come closer. Big Mommy wants to show you a magic trick. Let's turn nine fourths into a mixed number. How many fourths are in nine? Debbie, count it. 4 plus 4 equals 8. That's 2 fours with 1 left. So 9 quarters equals 2 and 1 quarter. Big mommy, is it not the same as saying you ate 2 full cakes and 1 quarter? Yes, that's correct. Now let's go the other way. Let's change a mixed fraction to improper fraction. Turn 2 and a half into an improper fraction. 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 1 equals 5. 5 slash 2. Boom! Fraction magic complete. Finale class anthem. Fractions are parts. They are never whole. Like sharing a birthday cake into slices. Proper is small. It's like eating a little. Improper is big. It's like eating too much. Mixed is both. Like moin moin and egg. It's homework time. Before you take a break, answer these. If Hannah eats three pieces puff puff from four puff puffs, what fraction is that? What is one and one quarter as an improper fraction? Mikhail ate seven fourths of yam. Is that proper or improper? Temitayo shared three whole mangoes and half. Write it as a mixed number. You are the smartest children in Nigeria, princes and princesses of fractions.